Hello dear friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel, Geo Technical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today I have decided to cover with you all about the subject topic behavior of pile foundations in liquefiable soils. <coughs> Towards this introduction, I would say liquefaction has been a main cause of damage to civil engineering structures in seismically active areas and the effects of damage of liquefaction on deep pile foundations are destructively alarming during and after the earthquake has occurred and it has been proven in the past as well. The pile foundations fail due to earthquake loading and soil liquefaction bringing in additional loading on the piles in liquefiable soils as a result of lateral spreading causing lateral displacement of piles which in turn actually say that their failure probably is due to either bending or buckling. The vulnerability of pile foundations to failure are pronounced since the loss of strength and stiffness in the liquefied soil results in a near complete loss of lateral support for the embedded piles if the soil liquefies after earthquake. <coughs> now few probable effects on pile foundations due to liquefaction are it is known from previous earthquakes that liquefaction causes very large loads on pile foundations both from inertial loads of the superstructure and from lateral displacements of liquefied soil. This leads to substantial increase in pile cap displacements. Therefore, the pile gets cracked or fractured. In turn, these piles, pile foundations suffer damage as a result of maximum moment occurring at the depth of the interface zone of the liquefying and non-liquefying soil layers. But sometimes they may fail at other points also other than the interface of the liquefying and non-liquefying soil layers. And it has been found in the past that in few cases the pile foundations have not suffered any damages even after liquefaction occurring. Now, why they are difficult to predict? Liquefaction induced potential deformations in piles are really difficult to predict reliably, reliably because design procedures and their applications for evaluating pile behavior under earthquake loading is uncertain as the performance of piles in liquefied soil layers is very complex. It is a very complex phenomena. The seismic design of pile foundations in liquefiable soils poses difficult problems in analysis and design. Pile foundations undergo substantial shaking while the soil is in a fully liquefied state and soil stiffness is at a minimum. Therefore, the need arises to understand soil pile interaction following liquefaction and accordingly devise methodologies to design the pile foundation in such a way so that we can at least reduce the losses if not fully altogether. Now, probable factors responsible for pile failure as such in order to investigate the dynamic behavior of pile foundations in liquefied ground, it becomes imperative to distinguish between two different phases in the soil pile interaction process. Number one is a cyclic phase in the course of the intense ground shaking when soil imposes a load on the pile due to its transient movement whether liquefaction occurs or not. And number two, a permanent deformation phase following the occurrence of liquefaction that is after the earthquake induced liquefaction has occurred. Now, the other probable factors which may be the reason in turn involve a study of these following factors variation of permeability coefficient during liquefaction as it is related to excess pore water pressure, significant changes in stiffness and strength of soil due to increased pore water pressure, varying pile length, the diameter of the pile, frequency of input motion, interaction between structure and pile foundation, fixity of the pile head, thickness and relative density of liquefying soil layer, that is the thickness of the soil layer which has liquefied, thickness of non-liquefiable soil layer present if any over the liquefying liquefiable layer. What happens in this very case is ki whenever the soil liquefies and if it, the soil is in a slope, these unliquefied soils moves hundreds of meters over and above this liquefiable soil which in turn may cause excessive lateral displacement in the piles. Other factors are thickness of sorry other factors are large lateral loads on piles which occur after this phenomena 
interaction between piles and soils, kinematic loads from lateral ground displacements and inertial loads from vibration of the superstructure. Now, the following two observations can be said as the conclusions from the past studies. The structural damage of piles are observed following excavation of failed pile foundations during past earthquakes suggests that the earthquakes are very rapid events and as much of the damage to piles occur beneath the ground it is hard to ascertain the failure mechanism unless deep excavation and detailed analysis is carried out after any such event has occurred. Of particular interest is the formation of plastic hinges in the piles due to earthquake induced liquefaction. This indicates that the stresses in the pile during the earthquakes exceeded the yield stress of the material of the pile. Now, I am showing you people only two images, two world famous pile foundation failure images. First is the Niigata multi-span bridge failure. This image I have covered in my liquefaction chapter. And the second is the Bhuj pile supported building. What happens in the first case is the movement of piers due to lateral spreading and the bridge spans failing. And in the second case what happens is after the earthquake induced liquefaction has occurred, this building in 2001 Bhuj earthquake has tilted. Now what can you say in that as a result design of pile foundation in seismically liquefiable areas still remains a constant source of attention to the earthquake geotechnical engineering community. Namaskar and thank you. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.